like to show you today what I got at the thrift store and then I'm going to work on a really small project. Springtime is here on the homestead and I'm really excited to be able to share with you different ways that I like to decorate that doesn't cost much money. So we went to the thrift store today and let me just go ahead and show you what I got. I spent $8 total. The books were all half off and I tried to really look to see if there was any books that I could use as far as with my collection. So instead of buying a whole bunch of different kinds of books, I'm trying to find books in collection series and that way I have a whole collection of them. And this one here I thought was really neat and I have the other ones in this series. The original price was $14.95. Can you imagine paying that for a book? But I only paid a dollar for it. And it's the Household Skills of Tips. Now, this, these books were found at Tractor Supply. You can see find these at Tractor Supply, but it's all kinds of different things that you can make. It's really neat, especially for someone like me who loves crafts and loves making things. So it's all about different things. Exotic fruit, how to grow things, how to use things up. So I can't wait to show this book with all of you. But that's not what made me super happy because I love these wooden books. Now these were made in the 1970s. I don't think they were after the 70s. It might be 60s and 70s. If you go on eBay, they want 10 to $20 per book. I got this half off, so I only paid 75 cents. Isn't this charming? It is wood. It's got the wooden covers. Now I have these books that are inside it, but there's the other wood part. It is in perfect condition. One thing I like is when I go to the thrift store, sometimes I will see estates. In other words, it's things that come from old homes and you know it all comes from basically the same home because when I found this, I found another gem. I found this. I am sure that it came from the same home. I paid $3.50 for this, but it is a salt box. Now, if you would have seen a previous video of mine, I have a salt cellar. That's what they were called. But this one here is vintage. So this would have been from the 60s and it actually has the little container that the salt goes in. So I paid 350 for this and it goes with my seasoning mixes that I have. It's, um, I'll show you a picture of it when we're done. I actually have what goes to this. So now I have a set. It's, it's so much fun. My house is very vintage and everything I own just about is old. So I got this and I just love it. And then I got this material for $1.25. And I just thought this was so charming, this material. I do not sew, but I like to do a lot of other crafts and you'll be seeing what I'll be using this for. I just thought it was really pretty and it just goes with the 1970s, with the dark wood in my home, in my vintage home. Everything in our mobile home is original, everything, except for we added new flooring and we added new carpet and we did repaint 13 years ago, but we got original windows, we got original doors, we, everything in our mobile home is original except for the stove, the stove and the refrigerator. But you know what I mean? It's, you know, the, the nuts and bolts of our mobile home is all original. So, and I just love the 60s and the 70s and I just love the old look of things. Well, I got one other thing and I did pay a little too much for this. I will admit this was a little much, $1.99. Now it's brand new and this is agate ware or you can call it different ware. It's metal and I just love these. As you know, I have my bowls are like this. I have dish pans like this and some people call it agate ware. Some people call it tin ware and I just thought this was really pretty and it goes with my kitchen. All right, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away and then I'm going to work on a small little project with all of you because I'm feeling quite springy this afternoon. <music> At the thrift store, I was looking for some birds and I thought to myself, you know what? Wait a minute. 
one of you gave me these birds and owls back in the fall and now I have them for springtime. So what I'm going to do is I would like to decorate this a little bit. So I'm not sure what I want to, what kind of bird I want to put on. Probably something fairly big. I just think it would look so cute. I'm all about adding little whimsical things in the garden. So let's go ahead and put this right here. So with my little power unit, I got power. I really want to thank you for giving me these little birdies. I love them. <laughs> oh, my mom would have been so happy. In the older years, my mom really started liking to decorate with little animals. She would decorate little baskets and have puppy dogs in them. And she did a lot of that when she was older. I think she would think it was pretty cute. And this is from a long time friend of mine on the channel. And she is responsible for my pink lipstick. So uh, I don't know how long ago it's been, but I couldn't find the pink lipstick that I used to get at the Dollar Tree. And so many people ask me, what lipstick is this? It's called Frosted Pink. I think it's the name of it. Well, we'll look here in a minute and she has been supplying me with the lipstick. Absolutely amazing. So this comes from Kimberly. Okay, so let me show you. I'll be answering a question that a lot of you have had. Yes, okay, Paradise Pink, found at the Dollar Tree. So this is the Paradise Pink. <laughs> I've been wearing this now ever since I started my YouTube channel. I don't wear any makeup. I always have my pink lipstick on. So thank you so much, Kimberly, for my pink lipstick. She keeps me well supplied, and I'm very grateful for that. And then she got me, woo! Oh my word, I don't have this book. I have always wanted this book, The Country Diary Herbal. Thank goodness I'm almost done with my work for today, then I can go in the house and I can actually read it. Okay, so here's the story about this. There is called The Country Diary. I had that book, but I gave it to our oldest granddaughter and I wanted to get another copy of it and I found out it was so expensive. It's a collector's item. So the Country Diary, I gave that to her and I'm, I've never had the herbal. So thank you so much, Kimberly. That is so kind of you. Absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to dive into it. Then if I learn something, I'll share it with all of you. Like the old ways of living? Do you like to go thrift shopping? Maybe you would like this video. Take a look at this video right here. And I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow.